Today, we are going to show you how to download and install the HP AIO remote apps. Now, these apps may have already been automatically installed on your computer. If it's installed, then there's no need for you to download. Let's take a look. Go to the Start and scroll down until you see H. So the HP AO Remote Apps has been installed on this computer. If it's not installed, you can always go to the Windows Store over here. Do a search for AIO Remote. Now you'll see that it is stating that the AIO Remote Apps is already installed. But this is where you go to if you have not got the apps yet. Simply download and install. It is free. So let us close this and go back to start up our HP AIO Remote Apps. So it has detected our printer, which is the HP Office Jet Pro 7740. And under the controls, you have the printing photos, documents, or even to do a scan. Let us print a photo right now. And let us select this photo. So we'll print a 4x6 photo. So the paper size will select it to be 4x6 and the photo size to be 4x6 as well. And the paper type will select it to be HP photo papers. Let's go to more settings. We'll print in best quality. Orientation is landscape and we'll turn the borderless printing on. Once that is done, go to print. So as you can see, you just printed a borderless photo using the AO remote apps. Next, let us select a document for print. Go to Documents. We'll select this test document for print. Now, these are the settings that we have. The paper size to be A4 and its plain paper type and output to be normal. Again, you can go to more settings if needed. If there's no more change, you can select OK and go to Print. Again, we have successfully printed a document from the HP AIO remote. Finally, let us go to Scan. There's three options here where you can use a scanner, you can use a camera and or even import local. Let us use select scanner. And over here you have some settings. So the scan preset is document. You can even select photo if needed. And the page size is entire scan area. There are various options over here. I'll put to be color. And the source is either ADF if loaded or glass. Resolution is 200 and compression will leave it as medium. Do note, if you are scanning A3, your source must be selected as glass. For this case, we are scanning an A4 document, so we will leave it as ADF if loaded. Once you have done that, 
place the document on the ADF and select scan over here. So the document has been scanned. You can edit the document in terms of the contrast, the brightness, or even the saturation. If you've got more documents, you can click on Add. Let us scan. This time is scanning from the flatbed or the scan glass. So this is the second page that we have scanned. Again, we can go to edit and we can even crop the document. So this is page one and this is page two. Once that's done, you can actually save the document and let's save it as a PDF. We'll call this test scan. Let's go back to the main screen. Next, we will show you how to scan an A3 or a newspaper clipping that requires the A3 scan glass. Let's go to Scan and select Scanner. Now let's go to Settings. So there are a few presets that you need to select correctly before you can scan A3. First and foremost, the page size you must select it as entire scan area. And the source, in the previous example, we use ADF if loaded. For this case, we cannot use ADF if loaded. We must select glass. And the resolution, you can leave it at 200. Compression, let's leave it at medium. So two key settings that must be met in order to scan and a3 successfully, that is one, the page size must be set to entire scan area and the source must be set to glass. Once that is done, let's place the newspaper clipping onto the flatbed or scan glass. Now this is a piece of newspaper cutting that we are going to scan and we need to scan in A3 or the entire scan area. So let us place this newspaper clipping into the scan glass as shown. Once you have done that, click on scan. You will see that it is scanning a document on the glass and it is scanning in color. So this is the newspaper clipping that we have just scanned. We can go to edit and do a crop for the areas that we do not want. Likewise, you can adjust the contrast, brightness or even the saturation. Once that is done, this is your final scan product and we can go to save. Let's save this as a so-called a scan newspaper clip. Let's take a look. So this is the scan newspaper clip that we have just scanned.
So this is how you scan a newspaper clipping using the entire scan glass of the HP OfficeJet Pro 7740 on the AIO remote. So this is how you print a photo, print a document, and use the scan for the HP AIO remote. Thanks for watching.